the three-piece offset should always be started as the other offsets with the center line. No matter what size the duct is, no matter what you have, you always want to start with the center line and figure out your offset first. Let's, the other part about a three-piece offset is you can decide your own angle depending on how short or long you want this offset to be or how many pieces of duct you want to do it in or how tight the offset has to be smashed into place. So we can go all the way up to a double 90. You can make you can make this a 90 degree angle by going for a 40 inch spread. Now it uses up a ton of ducts, so you won't get much offset. So we'll do something fairly simple, but we will use a funny angle. Let's say we want to do a 40. Well, let's say we want to do a 14 inch offset, but we want to do it at 40 degrees. So if you have a 14 inch offset, you know the 14 is your rise and you know 40 degrees is your pitch. So then we can do 14 rise, 40 pitch. And come up with a diagonal of 21.78. Now because we know that the diagonal is 21.78 and that's a center line dimension, we know that these two numbers are 21.78. We're already starting the piece of our puzzle. We also know that we did a 40 inch, a 40 degree uh, offset. So we can cut this triangle in half. And we'll know that this is 40 degrees, right? Mm -hmm. So half of that would be 20. That'll give us half of our isosceles triangle. 20 would be my run. Mm -hmm. So this is your rise. We wanna know our rise. We don't care about our run because we know it's 20. We don't care about our diagonal either because when we lay this out on the duct, we're gonna put a point here and a point here. So what we wanna do is we wanna do 20, run, 20, pitch, to get a rise, sorry, 20, pitch, 20, run, your rise would be 7.28. Now, so we only did that once, but we know what happens four times. So we have 7.4, 7.28, 7 7.28. And this is also the same thing. 7.28 and 7.28. So when we go to lay out our pipe, this gets really easy, really fast. Say you want a four inch throat, you can do four. Same thing we did with the square throated elbow. We know that this is four, but we know this is 7.28. We have another mark. And another mark. So we went four, and then we went 11.28. There we have a line. So then we go 7.28, 7.28. There we have another line. From this line, we go 21 three quarter. Get our next two lines. So then we have a tick and a tick. Draw that. Then we go 7.28 and 7.28. Put another hit, another hash, and we have our third line. Then we can cut the remainder of our pipe to whatever we'd like it to be. Sometimes also these offsets get so long that you have to figure out this offset first and cut your V-notch in two separate slices of pipe. And that's the best part about these is you can do them at any angle, as drastic as you want, as light as you want, and they always turn out perfect. But don't ever forget that when you lay these out, always trace all the way around and don't forget to leave allowances for where it mates to your next piece. Like a one inch yeah. allowance. Yeah, enough to put a screw in. Great.